Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Montes, I'm going to have a look at a PLA from Rhino 3D. So let's have a look after the intro. So before I start, I want to thank Megabox for sponsoring this video series. They sent me the Megabox samples for me to do these videos, so that's awesome. But let's have a look at the label on the Rhino 3D PLA samples. So here they say this is a PLA and they included a bonus sample. It was a 50% more PLA in this sample than normal. And this prints out at 190 to 210 and room temperature to 60 on the bed. So it's normal PLA speeds and, and temperatures. Um, here they say the Rhino reel is a new filament membership service started by the co-founders of Megabox. Their focus is to providing full spools of filament without a spool. This is part of the master spool movement. Um, users will print their own spool that they can reuse uh, for refills. Um, I actually got a few refills from Rhino 3D to use on various projects and you can check them out on rhinoreel.com. So this is the, the sticker that came with the samples, but let's look at the prints. Um, here I first printed the Maker coin, and it's in a real nice purple color. Um, it's uh, printed without any issues. The, the letters came out really clear and, and no issues, and the surface finish of the prints are really nice. Uh, and no, no issues with this print. I then printed out uh, a Benchy, and that also came out excellent. And no issues to speak of, and I can't really see any defects on, on this Benchy. It's just really smooth, like the, the side here is really smooth and, and no issues to speak of. I then decided to print this overhang test, and it came out pretty great. Here in the 70 degrees, there's a tiny amount of defect, but nothing serious. It's not the, the worst <laughs> printing I've seen. It's uh, just a tiny, tiny issue, so it's uh, behaving really nice on my Prusa MK3 printer. Um, here I printed the money cut, and this print came out really nice. Um, here was um, some blob of an uh, older filament stuck on the hot end. That's not the fault of the filament, it was just a blob <laughs> with an extra bit of some other filament. But uh, as you can see, it's really smooth print and, and no issues and came out really, really good. Uh, it's maybe one tiny, tiny amount of drooping here in, the, in this part. But this was printed out without any support, so it's uh, a difficult area for this print. But uh, the print is really smooth and, and no issues. Um, here I have the Otis model, um, this came out also great, there's a maybe tiny amount of stringing here in the inside part, but nothing serious, um, and in uh, general just awesome quality, um, it's a really smooth back finish here, and the, the overhangs here in the, this part is really nice, um, no, it's just maybe this small amount of uh, stringing that I had here, and but nothing, nothing too serious. And then on the Omnum model by Tessa, this came out excellent. And no issues with this print; it was just really nice. So overall, it was giving me excellent results. So this was a quick look of the PLA from Rhino 3D. It's uh, awesome filament, and it gave me really good results. I printed at 210 degrees on the hot end and it gave me really nice results and, and no issues in printing. Um, I would definitely give this filament a go. I, I've already got some filament spools or refills for the master spool project from this manufacturer and have had good results with this filament. So I would recommend this filament if you have the option to buy it. But this will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.